champagne when they fussing. Money on the table, by the counterfeits. Million dollar fables, shit, I'm counting cents. Since it seen that I, I see a destruction. I'll be packing light. No, I got some rushes. I'll be in your sight, so in your discussions. Why be speak so hard? Struggle just to love it. Struggle just to care. They don't want to touch it. Everything is fair. At least that's what they nudging on. What they nudging on. Time and money on investigations. While they put drugs in the public, they call that a crack of budget. Uh, I think it's bad now. We ain't seen no desert, girl. You know the devil's loving. Uh, mighty all I see the struck. Shouldn't I see the struck? Shouldn't I? I know I haven't really properly greeted y'all in this vlog just quite yet, but I just had class for my fashion illustration earlier today. And right now I'm almost about to head to my next and final class of the day, which is my apparel analysis. So I just had me some lunch, just a little noodle. And so I think I messed them up though. I didn't have enough water in there, so they're not gonna be the best. I had my illustration class. I was not feeling it today. Like, I just be feeling like it's a waste of my time when I'm in there. It's a two hour, 15 minute class, mind you. Half the class, the professor, oh no, a lot of people don't consider him a professor, which is to my knowledge after last week for whatever reason, I don't know, maybe because it's just so unserious. Like he's so unserious. And there's a time and a place for that, but he just be playing around too much. And it just feels like I'm not making the most of the time that I'm in the class. I'll talk to y'all a little bit more about it later today when I'm in somewhere that's a little bit quieter or just a little more you know, private. That's the day so far. I need to eat because I'm starving. Y'all got a little, that's just a little shine. Later, I'm gonna take some outfit content. After class, I have work. So I will see y'all just after this next class and whatnot and update y'all about what I'm doing. And uh, some wooly nylon coverage on the back is the looper thread. This stain stitch configuration can be made by removing the center needle and then you have double needle cover stitch. You can remove the left or the right most needle home just to drop off some of my stuff and then I'm heading straight to work after that so I'm gonna be big to big boom boom and then I'll catch up with y'all after I'm off hopefully if I remember to but I close tonight so I'll get off around like 8 30 so hopefully it's a quick close I'm not gonna be there all night it's pretty hot out today people just be giving me this odd look I don't know what what it is what are you looking at I don't know, it's a different look up here. I say that as if I'm not from the north, but I'm from the top of the north. So the, I was about to say the south of the north. I'm from the north of the north. No, I'm from the north of the south. The white people are a little bit different. It's like they're extra happy to see you. Like, what are you so happy to see me for? <laughs> or you don't have to be, babe, you don't have to be. I actually really enjoyed my apparel analysis class. I've been enjoying that class so much. One of my favorites by far, and my philosophy. Those are my top two classes right now that I actually enjoy. I'm kind of picking up my energy because when I have that 8 a.m. class, he just be zoning me out like I can't. It's just his persona. Like y'all have to be in the class to understand what I'm talking about. Like what he be talking about as opposed to what we're doing in class, it just throws me. I'll be like, what was the point? I just filmed my outfit content and it was kind of challenging for me to find a cute spot because it was looking real dingy in the area I was trying to film at. But I ended up finding a spot that was decent enough. Good morning, fashionistas. Today is now Tuesday. It is 
and I'm actually, as y'all see, I'm getting ready for class right now. I got up around like 6.50, even though I had my alarm set. Why am I doing this from the front? Even though I had my alarm set for like 6, 6.30, I just needed to sleep in. I just do that to kind of get me in the habit of at least like opening my eyes at 6. I did forget to tune in with y'all last night because I, I just got distracted. Like I was doing my readings and stuff for class. It didn't work out used to have three classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I did drop a class for the first time ever. I've never dropped a class before. It just, it was like, I think I told y'all about it. It was like my musical composition, like laptop type of class. And it just wasn't resonating with me. And I was like, okay, just, just drop it. Cause it's like, if you're gonna spend your time in a class that's just not really fulfilling me, I'm, I'm not gonna stay in that class because there's no point there's no point. I do have about 10 minutes to like get fully ready and head on the bus. My class is until 9.30, but I like to get to campus early just so I can do some of my readings for my other classes and stuff like that and just manage my time better since I am a commuter and it's a little bit more challenging. Just to give y'all a little debrief about yesterday, as I was telling y'all about this illustration teacher, bro, he just does not have any type of structure and it's just throwing me for a loop. Like I did homework last week. I did, I did four illustrations and mind you, I was up to like, 3 a.m. finishing them not the night before class but like just to get it done because i was like okay i want to have this ready and like have my weekend to myself because i don't really like doing classwork over the weekend so i was like let me go ahead and do this homework i was looking at the syllabus making sure i was doing the right week while i get to class nobody is like pulling out their work for any homework and the teacher, he just gets right into the lecture and I'm like, oh, are we not, did we not have homework? He says, no, there was no homework this week. When I'm telling you, it's like, why didn't we have homework? We didn't have any, like, there was no reference work, no in-class, like, turn-ins when I tell you. We've only, we're, we're in a month. This is going to be our first month back. This is week four. And we've only turned in one assignment. What? Like, what are you talking about? It just throws me for a loop. Like even in class, he just talks about subjects that are like, okay, I get it. You want to spark conversation, but you sparking conversation and not getting into what this lecture needs to be about. Like you wasted my time. I really feel like that class is just wasting my time. I'm teaching myself, but it's like, what can you do about it? Even the book that we have, he doesn't even like say, okay, do a few reference sketches. We skipped the first week of freaking assignment of the first week of assignments, which was to make croquis with just like skin color which would have been very vital and very helpful especially for me because i'm still getting used to skin tones but i'm getting better at it and developing my own method of doing it and at the end of the day as long as you can find your way of doing your art it doesn't really matter <laughs> he just brings up topics and like specifically he is a black teacher and it's refreshing to see but the conversations like he brings up and mind you this class is predominantly white there's only three black people in that class i'm included the teacher included and one other student and he brings up topics about like the black community and mind you i don't have a problem with that but it's like anytime he brings it up it's something negative like he has nothing positive to say and i don't like that especially in a room full of white folk it's like stop projecting this image of negativity that's already stigmatized in our community like please stop doing that. And I had to say something. I was like, it's not, cause he had mentioned something about black men and how they're like, how he sees them as more territorial and how they're not easy to make friends with or good friends or whatever. And I'm like, well, you can't categorize people in that way because that already perpetuates something in our society that another thing that's negative. And it's like, if you're saying this in front of a bunch of white people, what do you think they're gonna do with that information? Like, what do you think? What what purpose was it for you to say that? And I was like, yeah, I said something. I was like, it's not good to categorize and da 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 da. And I was like, well, maybe it's just you. Cause he has said like, well, I am a black man, so I would know. And I was like, well, maybe it's just you. <laughs> 
that's seeing it that way because I can tell like just from the person that I've you know encountered now that I've been in class there's just I just see a common thing and it's like okay maybe it is just you because you haven't shown me anything to think otherwise of why you might think so negatively about situations or about people especially your own people. I don't even know my conundrum with this professor so far. But I did have my apparel analysis class and I, apparel analysis class, and I actually am so in love with this class. We're learning about seams and the different names for it. What else have we learned? We've learned about, you know, product value, perceived value, manufactured value, and how that all plays a role in like how we deem value in clothes, which I love. And it's just overall, I just, this class just feeds my soul, honestly. Today I have my philosophy class, another class that I'm really enthused about. This week we're talking about like skepticism, which is called epistemology. And basically that's the ideology that what we believe, like questioning what we believe. So what we believe that we know, I should say. So we were reading, what's his name? Oh. I forgot his name, but it's gonna come up in class today. So once I do a little more review, I'll get back to y'all on that. But this class is really about like your mind and how you see things. So there's really no right and no wrong answers. You just have to have reasoning to back it up, which is what the professor keeps saying. Also, another thing, I don't know what's up with these kids at this school and I don't know, but when I call people professor, Especially the illustration teacher I was talking to y'all about. I called him professor and like the students were like, oh, you mean such and such? Like they call their teachers by their first name and which is like not a problem, but like why are y'all making such a big deal out of me calling somebody a professor? Like, okay, just cause you don't do it don't mean I don't have to do it. I just find that's respectful. Like didn't they go to school? Didn't they go to school for that? I'm not gonna be taking my camera with me. My plan for the day is to, you know, go to class, I have a gap in between, like a three hour gap between my classes today as well. And then after class, that gets out around 3.20, I'm gonna head to the gym and head home after that since I don't have work. But y'all, I didn't even tell y'all, oh my gosh, yesterday was such a tumultuous day. After classes, I was heading, I was about to head home, right? I was gonna take the bus straight home, chill for about a good 10 minutes because that's the time I had before I had to get on the next bus to go to work. I'm gonna take this time to go home, just drop off some of my baggage, and then head to work. Mind you, the bus that I take, that's a very popular bus, especially for students, high school and college. So it's like always packed. And today it was one of those days. The bus I was gonna take, they were only doing drop-offs. And so, in order for me to make it on time to work, that was the bus I was gonna need to have to catch. So the next bus coming, I was gonna be late. So I just went straight to work. And when I tell you this bus was packed like sardines. So I get on the bus, right? And you know, I find my little spot to hold on to the little anchor. You know, there's a few people sitting in front of me. There's a little kid and his mom sitting. Out of nowhere, this kid just hurls right onto my feet, bro. I didn't, when I tell you I was not upset when it happened because it was a little kid, I was like, ooh, my immediate reaction was like, ooh. But y'all know me, I'm in my head like, please do not tell me I'm about to contract something for whatever this kid has. <laughs> Cause that's very like, mind you my shoes, I just got new shoes, bro. They were my new shoes. But they were shoes that like, had were out of like the PVC type vinyl material. They weren't cushioned, they weren't, you know, absorb it at all. So that, I was grateful for that. Like I said, I wasn't upset because it was a little kid. He didn't mean to do it on purpose, of course. But it was just the fact of the matter that this is on my feet, bro. And I'm asking on the bus, I'm like, does anybody have a napkin? Like I have little alcohol wipes in my bag, but they were so small. I needed to wipe, I had to wipe it off first, bro. It was just a very, Oh, first time experience for me. I've never experienced anything like that child. Hopefully never again. I was like, I hope you're okay though. Like talking to a little kid because unfortunate events. The mom's sitting there and she was like, oh yeah, he just had his teeth pulled. I'm sitting here like, well damn, I couldn't get like a, I'm sorry that that happened. Like I understand there's nothing nobody could have done. He's a little kid, like he couldn't really help that. I wasn't mad about the fact, but I was thinking about it like, dang, she didn't say like, I apologize that that happened. She didn't show any concern at all that your kid, that her kid just threw up on my feet. 
The bus driver ended up stopping the bus. We had to all get off and then we waited even longer. So I was thinking I was gonna be really late to work. But we had to wait about 15, 20 minutes for the next bus, like a new bus to come. Just a crazy day. Just a crazy day. Yeah, I had to wash off and stuff because uh-uh. I'm a hypochondriac, so. Hypo, is it hypochondriac? Something, something chondriac. The fro is froing today, well, mm, mm. <laughs> But yeah, that's my TED talk for today. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit more about my experience so far being at UC and like, you know, my my initial thoughts and feelings towards it later on. I'll just go ahead and do it today. So let me put that in my reminders. In my reminders. Child, I can't talk. That's all for right now. I will talk to y'all in between classes. Tell y'all how my day is going. Conservatory of Music. This is my first time like, well actually I've been in here before when I was in the Gifted and Talented program in high school. They did a field trip here so we got to see the behind the scenes of like their arts, their performing arts and stuff like that. So I've actually been in here before. I found me a little hiding spot, <laughs> lol. A little hiding spot on the third floor. So you know, eagle. Eli. Now I'm just gonna take some more notes on my apparel analysis reading, and then I'm going to get into some philosophy reading to get that out of the way. Philosophy class was actually very intriguing today. We were just talking about our own beliefs and justifications of what we deem to be true, why we know them, how we know them type of thing. I really enjoyed today's lecture. She's very engaging. Like this professor, I don't know her name, it's bad. I'm, I'm gonna learn it but she does such a great job. You could tell that she's very passionate about it. And I just love the way she teaches. Like, it makes me wanna be a philosopher. <laughs> At the end of the class, we each in our groups made lists of what we think is common knowledge or what we think is a justified belief. Through the philosopher that we're discussing today, I think it's pronounced Ghazali, Ghazali, and basically his dream argument. A group had mentioned about like the dream versus reality concept and how dreams are known to be dreams because they're inconsistent and kind of random. But in reality, life is more consistent and you know, you kind of have an idea of what's going to happen. And so I questioned, I was like, well, what about when you have reoccurring dreams? Like, how does that shape into that inconsistency? Well, that consistency that we see in reality and, that, and that's how it can kind of get confused about like, what is real? How do we know we're not dreaming? How do we know we are dreaming type of thing? It's a great discussion. We had to make it quick because it was like the last three minutes of class, but then the next class, child is my, fashion history. This class, he be expediting everything. He goes through like probably a good 50 slides, maybe more in one class period. And he talks so fast, like I can't, I can't grasp what I'm writing. But anyways, I will tell y'all about that class after it's over. disturb anybody. Today is Wednesday and I just got out of my illustration class. Today we talked about animal prints. He actually gave us the homework 
today and specified. The homework is to create four drawings with zebra, one with leopard, one out of suede, and one out of leather. I thought we had homework last week. I believe I told y'all. So I already made these drawings. I've already done the suede and the leather. Didn't do the zebra or the leopard. What I'm doing right now is here's the drawing. Um, this one right here with the updo, she has supposed to be corduroy even though it didn't really come out that way but i'm going to basically make the zebra print over this dress as you can see i added the brown lines those brown lines weren't there i just added those because we're working smarter not harder because this i was up till like 3 4 a.m drawing these so i'm like i'm not about to let this drawing go to waste because i actually love it even though one is fur so i don't know how he's gonna respond to that but I am going to draw one more model in Zebra and like just have it on a different page. So hopefully he doesn't deduct points for me putting it on a different one or tries to be funny about it because I feel like he is. We're gonna try to rig this dress right here and see how it comes out. Today's class, they were, you know, as they always do, just talking. Today they were actually talking about like political standpoints and like things happening with people's cases. I don't mind hearing like political standpoints and stuff like that. The professor, he starts again bringing up issues in the black community, current people who are in the news about doing heinous crimes. And then he's sitting there talking about how this said person is trying to bring us as black people into his situation. But I'm like, aren't you sitting here doing the same thing? I don't know. They just be getting out of hand sometimes, which I'd be like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? It's 8 a.m. It is 8 a.m. I haven't tuned in with y'all since I was at the gym, but I've been home for some hours now. I got back home at around five and it's 8.36 right now. I've just been doing some assignments and I did my philosophy reading. I feel like I'm always telling y'all that I'm doing some philosophy reading, but did my readings, did some sketches. I did a lot today. I really did. Sometimes I don't be feeling like I'd be productive enough as I would like to but we're only in week four this is we're getting into the month the first month of school so right now I'm actually working on some updates to my portfolio because I want to have that ready by the end of this month I don't know if I told y'all but the school that I'm at now has a co-op program I think this stands for co-operational meaning they have semesters where students are in their field actively working gaining actual experience and since I already have fashion credits I'm technically a second year so this is when it would start for me so this is my first time experiencing it and I really had to gather everything up kind of quickly and sharpen everything up very fast like I redid my resume and it looks so pristine now I love the way it looks and right now I'm just making sure my portfolios look pristine as well so I'm just redoing the layouts and making it just look more simple, but still true to who I am because I had a meeting with the co-op advisor. She's been very helpful and she gave me some great tips, great pointers. So I really feel like I am gradually gaining like my development of my creative personality. Just overall like graphic skills are improving a lot. I would use Canva templates to make my resume, no more. I'm no longer doing that. That is so whack. I did my new resume from scratch on InDesign. I watched like a 13 minute YouTube video tutorial about just, you know, making the alignments and stuff. When I tell you I got it done within a few hours, like the same day, I did my whole resume by myself. And it looks so good. I'd show y'all, but I don't want y'all seeing all my information. I recommend using InDesign, Adobe InDesign for your resumes. You probably could get away with Google Docs. I'm not 100% sure. I'll show y'all my before portfolio and then my after. 
I'm probably gonna stay up a little while getting this finished because we need to have applied to jobs by October and it's September 18th. Like why is time going by so fast? Since I got a lot of my work done earlier, I have time. Been an overwhelming process being thrown into the program at this stage because it's a lot. It's a lot of preparation and all this preparation I would have been doing over the summer if I would have accepted my admission sooner. But we're getting it together now. We can do what we put our mind to. Sometimes we get this then this stuff done now. This is probably gonna be good night. I'm about to have me a little taco salad. Oh, I need to tell y'all how the gym went. The gym was pretty, I don't know. I didn't feel like I really did much at the gym today. It's just something about the way their gym is set up. It just throws me off completely. You would think it's big looking, judging by the outside of the building, but when you go in there, it is small. Way less equipment than at Memphis. And the way, their method for cleaning off the materials, they have one rag, one rag that you spray, wipe down the equipment with, and everybody else uses the same rag to wipe down the equipment with. That just sounds so counterintuitive. Like, if you're working on disinfecting, why wouldn't y'all have paper towels? I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's for waste, but I'm like, that's nasty. That is nasty and everybody been coughing like y'all need to keep that away from me please keep it away from me good morning y'all be seeing me in my most vulnerable state <laughs> today's now Thursday and I'm just getting ready for class right now it's 8 13 I don't have to leave out for another like 20 or so minutes I'm about to eat me some breakfast I'm just gonna have some oatmeal with peanut butter today is not that major of a day I just have two classes. The only thing that makes it major is my friend, she's graduating from beauty school today. So the theme is to wear white. So I just went ahead and wore something white so I could just go ahead and go to her ceremony right after class. I do have to leave class early to make it there in time. I found a bag yesterday that's actually perfect to pack all of my stuff. I still need to find like a duffel bag, which is what I'm in search for. It was at the gym, I guess, cause they were having career fair day. And so I was like, <laughs> don't mind if I do have one, but she is a little thin, a little flimsy. So I am a little worried about it as far as that goes. I haven't even told y'all all week, I'm going to a concert this coming Monday and guess who I'm seeing? Well, actually I'm gonna let y'all wait until the video, you know, goes up. But yes, I'm going to see one of my favorite artists in concert. I'm interested to see how this philosophy class is gonna go today because now we're getting into how different determining factors can influence how someone, how much someone believes that you have knowledge. I feel like that's a topic that needs to be discussed. They had mentioned that feminist epistemologists have the belief that knowledge is viewed from someone's gender, social position, etc. I can tell a difference in the way people speak to me and the things that, and the way people react to me because of who I am and because of who they see me as because it's not the same reaction as far as race goes. Cause there's a few things I've noticed even in that class that's made me like, what the f are y'all reacting like that for? I'm being dead serious. Y'all, I had to show y'all this technology. I've been in here before to use it, but it literally, I just place everything down. It freaking scans it, bro. It freaking scans it. Look at this thing. What? You're insane. And then I just pay. So right now I'm in the University Pavilion just to get a little bit of different scenery. I'm just gonna complete a few assignments I have. I only have like two assignments to do. I have a quiz, a writing prompt that I need to do for interviews, and then I need to complete my flats, so three.
today is now Friday and I'm finished with my one and only class for the day. It's just my intro to co-op, well, my co-op class. We are just talking about interviews and how to be best prepared for them. And right now I just got me some lunch. I got a burrito bowl, tell me why. I just picked it up. I got brown rice, cilantro, sour cream, with like the chicken in it, you know, the works. Why in the world did I just open this thing? And this is what it looks like. What, what is this? That looks like I already ate half of the burrito bowl. They've gotta be kidding. I'm about to go back in there. And I'm hungry, no. Mm-mm, it's not gonna do. I just went in there and told them that it looked like nothing was in there and they filled me up see that's how it was supposed to look the first time you know that wasn't a burrito bowl that they gave me that was a burrito spoon like a couple spoonfuls of burrito um, i did try it i don't know if i'm feeling the taste too much it's a different little taste but i won't be getting it again mm -mm. they don't really have many options for toppings like i wanted corn Oh, I forgot beans. I knew it was missing something. I'm gonna just go to Chipotle next time. Forget this. We don't even have a Chipotle. Mm. Four out of ten. I got enough flavor. It's just not, not doing it for me but I actually have a doctor's appointment at three. So I'm about to head there in a few minutes. That really completes my day and completes my week. I completed all of my assignments for the week and the weekend, cause sometimes teachers assign stuff for the weekend. And we are done. So if I don't meet back with y'all later today, I'm just gonna go, out, go ahead and close out the vlog now. Thank y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all support. I really feel like I'm finding more comfort on the campus now. That's the first step. If you haven't yet, please give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.